Adventure Small World in Animation. Welcome to Animation World. Today's lab, we're going to do a smoke effect. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating a shape, and then we're going to add a shape between to it, and then we're going to end up getting it to loop, and we're going to utilize the shape hints in here, and it's going to be magic. So, and we're going to have smoke. It's a really neat little smoke effect. So, um, traditionally I used to teach this uh, doing a hand-drawn frame-by-frame animation style, but since we just did the fire and the explosion all frame-by-frame, frame, I thought we'd try uh, and revisit some techniques that we've already done before. So I'm going to start by creating this uh, rectangle. I'm going to use the rectangle tool. I'm just going to create a rectangle. I'm going to double-click around the edges. I'm going to delete them. The other way you can get rid of them is just to click on each line and press delete and ho while holding shift. So from here um, you're going to learn something new that we haven't done before is we're going to add anchor points basically to this rectangle and how we do that is holding control on your keyboard and using your uh, selection tool over here we're going to bring these together like so I'm going to bring these ones in here but you'll notice I've just created this little anchor point. Now if I did not do that, I can only do this, and I don't want to do that. It's just going to be one big sm smoke blob like that. And we want to get some really neat little effects in here. So I'm going to start with this being actually pretty tiny. I'm going to turn snapping off. And I'm going to hold control when I'm creating these. And I'm just going to go ahead and start to create these this little... Uh, jigsaw sort of looking thing um, oh. something like that and I'm going to do the same thing on this side and I'm not trying to create lightning I'm trying to create because it's starting to look like that um, I'm just trying to get this cool shape here that I think will be really neat to um, resemble fire, or not fire, smoke. So, do something like that. And your sh this does not need to be perfect. Um, don't think you're going to make some m majestic, like, don't take too much time creating the smoke, because you're going to probably do it again if you think this is cool. Um, and probably add some of your own little techniques and styles to it to make it look uh, unique to you. Um, but also so it looks cool, you know. Um, here we go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start to curve these lines. So without holding control, I'm not going to add any more anchor points unless I really feel like I need one. I'm going to just hold, uh, click on the edges with that little curved line, and I'm going to just start to and I'll move them as I need. You know, it's it's no big deal there. Okay, and I'm just going to work my way all the way around this shape, getting all these little bubbly curves here to give it this um, little smoke effect here. And like I said, don't worry about it being like perfect or anything. Just make sure it sort of looks like smoke to you. And do some stuff like so.
And I think that's kind of neat. I'm going to go with that. Now, I'm going to, from this point, I'm going to insert a keyframe over here. So I've created my shape. Yours doesn't need to look exactly like this. Don't even try it. It's going to be difficult. <laughs> Um, make your own sort of wavy little uh, s smoke stack, I guess I'll call it. And um, once you get there, insert a keyframe. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a shape tween right here. So what we're going to do next, if we play this right now, nothing happens. We haven't really told it to do anything. We just know it's going to be this shape at the starting point and this same exact shape at the last frame. So I'm going to create some shape hints. Modify, shape, add shape hints. And I'm going to start down here in the corner. And this is where you actually want snapping on. So I'm going to turn snapping on objects on. And I'm going to start both of these. Control Shift H is the keyboard shortcut for a shape hint. A, A, B, B. So I have my A here. I'm going to go to my last frame. And I'm going to line these up in the corners here. So from my A is red to start with, that means it's no good. Um, when it's yellow, that means it's telling you it is good. And then the final frame, uh, when it's green, it's basically telling you it's connected. It's good to go. But still, we haven't done anything yet to it. So I'm going to go ahead and create more. And I'm going to do C up here and D in the same point. So this just reassures us that this entire smoke uh, stack here or whatever is going to be animating directly back into itself with these points here. So your starting point and your ending point are both going to be exactly the same. So now what I'm going to do, it still doesn't do anything yet, even though my uh, shape hints are green. I'm going to create a couple more, and I'm going to start these really low. E, and it's, it's probably best if you do one at a time so you don't get confused. And then this E, I'm going to have it be about halfway up. Now I'm going to go here, and I'm going to put this one really low, and I'm going to go to my last frame, and I'm going to work that one somewhere there. Repeat this process a couple times. Start this one down here. Go to the last frame. Bring it up a little bit. And you'll see it turn green. That means it's connected and knows what to do. Create another one here. Put that there, and I'm going to go ahead and take this and put it over here. I'm going to go to this first frame again, and I'm going to try this one more time. I think six should be a pretty decent start. Oh, which one was the last one? I. And go to my last frame. I, and I'll do one more. I'm going to put this one over here, and I'm going to put this one over here. And now I'm going to play it. And it's okay. And I'm getting this little smokestack. It's the. It's pretty neat. Um, I could add more shape hints, and I'd probably get a uh, more unique little uh, look to it. Um, let me go back here. Create another one, and I'll go to my last frame. And you want to make sure that you have them on the same side. I'll maybe create one more, and go to my last frame, and maybe these ones I'll move slightly lower, and these ones I'll put here, and this one I'll go here. And this is going to change the way the smoke animates the entire time. And let's see how that plays. Eh, it's okay. Um, if you mess with it enough, you can get some really neat effects on it. Um, let's go ahead and whoop. go to my last frame. I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to do whatever I do to one side, I'm going to do the other side, because I want it to sort of climb evenly. And I'll play that. And the loop's a little obvious on the first glance at it, but um, you can get great effects with this for smoke. Um, in this particular case, um, 
I can do a couple more things to make this uh, really neat. Um, let's go ahead and go to the color, change it to a linear gradient, and grab my gradient transform tool and rotate this around and maybe bring it up a little bit, eh, something like that. And on this color, I want to make this slightly. This one, my final color here, I just added one. I want to make this a zero. And I'll bring this down a little bit. And I want to make it not so. Um, white. Maybe something like that. And grab my gradient transform tool. Something like that. We'll do something like that. Okay. Now when I play it back, oh whoops, <laughs> I gotta do the same thing here. There we go. And as you notice, you can uh, animate the color really easily as well. All right, that'll work. And it sort of dissipates at the very top. I could have it totally dissipate, but here it's the general idea of just trying to get some real quick smoke animation effect there. Um, I'm gonna leave my other video up for you guys to view. Um, see if you like that one. But this is what I'm looking for. I want you guys to do this animation for smoke. All right. Um, thanks for watching. And. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the lab and see you next time.